All right, now this is probably my favorite favorite keyboard instrument, if not favorite instrument, and that would be the pipe organ. It is known as the king of instruments. That is something that uh, Mozart once called it. The pipe organ has many pipes of various sizes. Air goes through the pipes to play the notes, and a pipe organ can have a couple dozen pipes or thousands. Each pipe organ is unique. No two pipe organs sound exactly the same, and that is not only because of the instrument, but also the space that it sounds in. Um, a pipe organ will have multiple keyboards for the hands, usually. The feet play the pedals on the floor. It looks like another keyboard. The organist pulls stops to give the organ different sounds. So the multiple keyboards um, go with different sections of the organ. So typically you'll have the great keyboard and the swell keyboard. The great chamber of the organ has certain sections of pipes. The swell has another section of pipes. So it's kind of like a menu where you have the dessert menu and the main course menu. And what you can do is you can just use the pipes from one area, playing all the notes on the keyboard. It's same notes, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F sharp, and so on, um, but a different sound. And then on the other keyboard, you can have other sounds. So it's just like a different menu available. Um, however, if you want the keyboards to, if you want sounds from both keyboards at the same time while only playing one keyboard, then you couple it. And you saw that in the Takata, in the in the Takata video where there was um, the ghost playing those in, those notes, and that's um, basically the the keyboard. It was being coupled down. The feet pay the play the pedals, um, and it looks like another keyboard. Uh, the C on the that pedal is the same C as, or it's well, it's an it's a little lower, um, <coughs> and uh, and so you use your feet to play, and the organist will pull stops to give organs different sounds. So there's a fl there's different ranks on the pipe organ, and those ranks have all of the all 67 notes, or 33 if you're in the pedals. So um, the so you, you could have a flute sound, you could have a trumpet sound, you could have a regular, like a, a typical organ sound. It just gives you options, just like you have the menu where with the different menus for the keyboards, well, these are the items on the menu. So if you're looking at the instrument, this is what it would look like from the side with the, the, the pedal board. Um, and if you're looking straight down, so that you have black notes, and that's just like the black notes on the keyboard. And then you have these other notes, and these are just like the, the white notes on the keyboard. Uh, over here are um, pistons, and you use this to make combinations of stops. And this is basically like a shortcut. So instead of pulling a bunch of stops, you just hit one thing, and it, and it um, saves it in like a memory bank. And so it'll just pull all those stops for you at the same time. And then we have a crescendo and a um, and a swell pedal. And so this, what this does, and you'll see this on the organ at St. John's, there's what's called a swell chamber and the swell pipes are enclosed in a box and you can open the slats on the box to make it louder and then close the slats on the box to make it sound softer. And then this is the crescendo. This is a, a shortcut instead of pulling a bunch of stops, it adds stops um, automatically as you, open it more. Um, this is an example of a ginormous pipe organ. Again, this is just the console, but if you look at all these buttons it means that, and stops, it means that it has all these different combinations. And there's one, two, three, four, five keyboards. So multiple uh, opportunity, different ranks, uh, multiple areas of the, of the pian ah, pipe organ. Um, so how a pipe organ works is you have air that goes in from the blower and um, and then, you know what, I'm going to stop and I'm going to start a video. So in the next video, it'll be about how pipe organs work.